Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to continue the fat metabolism. We are going to look deep inside the triglyceride synthesis today. So let's go. So here we are with fatty acids we synthesized from the previous video. Do you remember? We need to put a CoA on those fatty acids. We're going to use the fatty acyl CoA synthase using ATP. And here we are. This is a fatty acid with a CoA. This is another fatty acid. And this is another fatty acid. We got three fatty acids. So we have the fatty acids. But triglycerides have the glycerol. So we need the glycerol from somewhere. Do you remember this metabolite from the glycolysis, the dehydroxyacetone phosphate? It can actually be converted into glycerol free phosphate using NAD positive, creating NADH. This is actually a step for the glycerol free phosphate shuttle. Do you remember that? Okay, so we get glycerol free phosphate. Another way is to having already triglycerides, break them down and the glycerol can be converted into glycerol free phosphate via the glycerol kinase. So we need the free fatty acids and with the CoA and the glycerol free phosphate. Now we can start making the triglyceride. The first fatty acids goes on the carbon number one of the glycerol. We use an um, acyl transferase and we get rid of the CoA in the process. So we create the lysophosphatidic acid. The free fatty acid gets bind to the glycerol free phosphate, carbon one. Then another acyl transferase will get the fatty acid CoA number two and we'll add it on the carbon number two, getting rid of the CoA and we get the phosphatidic acid. And then another acyl transferase, we get the third uh, CoA fatty acid and we'll add it to the third carbon. And in this process, we also use a phosphatase to get rid of that phosphate because if the phosphate is on the carbon number three, the fatty acid cannot bind to it. So we get rid of the phosphate and then we add the fatty acid. And this is the triglyceride we were talking about earlier. This is the final triglyceride. So it's adding one by one using the ACU transferase, getting rid of the CoA. And in the final step, we get rid of the phosphate using a phosphatase. Okay, and once we have the triglyceride, they're going to go to the, to the adipocytes. We're going to store the triglycerides into the adipocytes outside of this cell. So to recap, this process gets the fatty acids, adds, um, we add a CoA to them. We make glycerol free phosphate via DHAP or via glycerol. And then with these four elements, we can create the triglyceride, adding one fatty acyl CoA at the time to the glycerol free phosphate. That's it for this video. It was very short, very quick. I hope you understood it well and uh, see you on the next one subscribe if you haven't done it yet like the video to spread this message through the algorithm and uh, comment down below if you have any doubts and ah, of course the diagram is in the description below so you can download it for free